Next, we are going to look at compound interest. Let's take the example we used earlier. You deposit 1,000 ringgit into a bank, and the bank pays an interest of 5%, compounding annually. Annually means yearly. And you put the money in there for three years. Right, so your principal is 1,000. And we multiply it by 5%. So by the end of the year, the interest you get is 1,000 times 5%, 50 ringgit. So after one year, your money becomes 1,050. We can get that by multiplying the principal amount of 1,000 by 1 plus 0 0.05, which gives us 1,050. So by the end of the period, your money becomes P times 1 plus R, where P is the principal and R is the interest rate. Now, for compounding interest, what happened is this. This whole amount is again earning interest for the second year. So this 1050 becomes the principal at the beginning of the second year. And by the end of the second year, the money that you will get is 1050 times 1 1.05. Again. And we get 1102.5 ringgit. And then this 1102.5 ringgit will become the principal at the beginning of the third year. And by the end of the third year, the money you will get is 1102.5 times 1.05. And we get 1157.63 ringgit. This amount is also called mature value. This is the calculation of interest compounded annually or yearly. Now let's look at the formula. At the beginning of the year, you have principal amount P. By the end of the first year, the money you will get is P times 1 plus R. This amount P times 1 plus R will become the principal at the beginning of the second year. By the end of the second year, this amount will become P times 1 plus R times 1 plus R. So we get P times 1 plus R squared. Again, this amount becomes the principal at the beginning of the third year. And by the end of the third year, this amount will become P times 1 plus R squared times 1 plus R. So we get P times 1 plus R cubed. So for compounding interest, the total amount, including the principal and interest, that we will get at the end of the period, which is called the matured value is p times 1 plus r to the power of t. p is principal, r is interest rate, and t is time in years. Now let's compare what we will get under simple interest and compound interest for the principal amount of 1000 ringgit at interest rate of 5% for a period of 3 years. This is simple interest. Principle of 1000. Formula for interest is principal times interest rate times time period. So the interest is 1000 times 5% times 3 years, which is 150. By the end of 3 years, you will get 1000 plus 150, which is 1150. 
for compounding interest, the formula is matured value is principal times 1 plus interest rate to the power of t, time period. So, matured value by the end of 3 years is 1000 times 1 plus 0 0.05 to the power of 3. And we get 1157.63. There is a difference of 7 ringgit 63 cents.